and welcome, my name's Hayley, I'm one of the exercise physiologists with the UH&M Cardiac Rehab Team and today I'm going to be taking you through session one of a five part series of different strength exercises um, designed to improve your quality of life, your general fitness and also help with your heart as well. Um, so today is going to be a beginner session um, quite low intensity exercise, all performed with the chair, your body weight and maybe a tin or two of beans if you would like to include that as well. Okay, so these sorts of exercises are recommended to be performed two to three times a week with a minimum of a rest day in between those sessions and you would do these sorts of exercises in addition to and alongside your aerobic capacity work such as walking, circuit training and other different aerobic exercises. So, as you can see I've got a whiteboard neck to me with a board scale so this is a rate of perceived exertion tool. So it's your way of knowing how hard you're working and how that relates to the exercises you're going to be performing with me. So it starts at 6 which is no exertion at all down to 20 which is maximal exertion the hardest you've ever worked. Now when you do strength based exercises such as the exercises that I'm going to do with you today you're looking to be between 11 which is light and 13 somewhat hard so if you know you're working within that level you're working at the right intensity. If it feels extremely light or quite easy to do you need to consider either jumping up in the session or adding weight or increasing the steps and repetitions that you're doing of the exercises and back first if you find something particularly hard to do you might just need to consider taking it back a little bit with the weight or lowering the intensity of the exercise. of seven different exercises targeting both the lower uh, body and the upper body with different ranges of exercises identifying different muscle groups. I'll talk you through the correct form and technique for each of these exercises and what the muscle groups targeted are. So we're going to start off with a warm-up. Nothing else needed for this point but it's really important that we get your heart rate, your breathing rate increased and the, the muscles have it allowing blood flow to them uh, before we start doing the strength based exercises. Okay, normally that's about 10 minutes or so and it's a safe and effective way to get your body ready for exercise. Okay, so we're just going to start with a march on the spot. About a minute per exercise for the use just to get the blood flowing. on the spot, nothing too strenuous at this point. Keeping that posture nice and upright, no slouching in the chair, I want nice proud chair, the shoulders back, head up. Well done, we're just going to take back to a toe tap, so tapping the toe out in front of you, back in. Go out, back in. Nice steady pace for this one. Keep going, mother. Few more seconds for this one. And then we're going to go into a side tap. Okay, into side tap. So just down, 
So a range of movement that's comfortable for you, try and keep your shoulders square on, bring that back to the middle, out with the other foot, back to the middle. Nice steady pace, back to the Keep it going. Nearly there, two more seconds of this one. And relax, so you now have your feet shoulder width apart, keeping that nice straight posture with your back, about a 90 degree bend in your knee and you're going to raise up onto your tiptoes, relax that down. So this will be warming the lower leg up around the calf area. Three repetitions of this one. And up. Keep it going, well done. Up and down. And we're up. So we're just going to go to a march on the spot. And if you want to, you're going to get the arms swinging with it a little bit now. So let's march on the spot. Well done. So we've got the lower body and the upper body moving now which will be increasing your heart rate and your breathing rate slightly. A few more seconds in this one. Well done. Okay, we're going to go back into those toe taps. And if you want to, reach and grab with your arm at the same time. Reach and grab. If you feel your arms start aching a little bit, just relax them, shake them out, and join them back in when you're ready. to a different warm up exercise. A couple of more reps. And relax. So we're going to go back into the side path. So out to the side, back to the middle. Side, back to the middle. And if you want to, you're going to use your arm to reach the opposite way. Grab, pull back in. Grab, pull back in. Just to a range of movement that's comfortable for you. Well done. Keep it going. Keep going. March on the spot. Get those arms moving again. A few seconds of this, and then we're going to go into a calf raise, but also introducing an upper body exercise as well, just to get the shoulders nice and warmed up. Okay, so feet shoulder width apart, back into that calf raise. Up and down, up and down. Hands on your knees, hands to your shoulders. Knees, shoulders. Get into a rhythm. 
touch the knee, touch the shoulder. Getting the calves warmed up and also the bicep muscles, which is drawn here. All the warm up exercises that we're doing today will transfer into the main workout. Up and down. Okay, so we go back into that march on the spot. As we're doing that, we're going to do some wrist rolls. Get those wrists broken up. shoulder rolls. Ten of you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll go forward. Shoulder roll forward. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Warm up done. So we're going to go into the main component of the workout. So as I said, we've got seven different exercises for you to try. And we're going to do one set of 12 exercises for each of the different muscle groups that we're working. If anything, single limb, so such as a leg extension, we'll do 12 reps on one leg and then 12 reps on the other and the same applies for any upper body exercises as well. But I'll talk you through the correct form, posture, technique and the way to move throughout the exercises as we do them. Okay, so make sure you've had a sip of water. If you've got some, stay hydrated throughout the session. And like I say, all you need is a well ventilated area, chair, nice dirty chair and your body weight for this session today. Maybe a couple of tins of beans if you would like to. Okay, so we're going to start with a lower body exercise and we're going to work the quadriceps which is the thigh muscles. So you're going to be sat in your chair, 90 degree bend in your knee, feet flat on the floor, nice, proud chest, nice and upright, hand by the side of the chair if you want to or on your lap, whatever suits you best. What you're going to do is just extend the leg out till it's straight, you should feel some tension in the thigh muscle, relax that down. Up, back down. We're going to do 12 on one leg, one of my tips when we're doing these exercises is to control your breathing to make sure you don't <gasps> hold your breath and I want you to count the repetitions out loud with me and this will make sure that you're regulating your breathing throughout the exercises. Okay, so I'm going to encourage you to count with me, focus on that form and posture, I'll count you in. Three, two, one. Off we go. One, 12 reps on one leg. First, two, three, four. Count with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nearly there. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. And swap your leg over. So one. Opposite leg now. Two, you should feel it in the thigh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A couple of more reps. Eleven, twelve. Well done. So you should feel a little bit of tension, a little bit of aching in the muscle. That's very normal. If you've got any severe pain or sharp pain or anything that feels really uncomfortable, stop the exercise that we're doing and just join in with the next one. Particularly if there's any niggles, bad knees and things like that, you might find something particularly uncomfortable. But if it's a little bit of tension, a little bit of aching, that's what we're expecting. So remember, you're looking to go between 11 and 13 on the board scale with regard to the intensity to give you an idea of how hard you should be working. So we've done a lower body exercise, we're going to go to the chest muscle, which is upper body. So you can do this just body weight or with a tender beam. So you want to hold your hand at chest height, so either add a clenched fist 
all with the tins of beans and you're going to punch out the shoulder height keeping a flat bend in the elbow don't fully extend flat bend bring that back into the chest punch out back into the chest you're going to do 12 on one leg that oh, i'm sorry 12 on the other keeping the legs at that 90 degree angle nice strong posture there i'll count you in are you ready three two one up we go one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And the other arm. One, count with me. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. Twelve. Well done. So punch it all done. So that was your chest region you were working on. Like I say, a little bit of tension, a little bit of ache is normal. While you're doing the exercise, it just shows that the muscle is working. Okay. Back to a lower body exercise. We're going to go back to that feet shoulder width apart, 90 degree angle of the knee. You're going to be raising it up to feel tension in the calf muscles, which is the back of your lower leg. Now, controlled movement back down. Up, control back down. Up, control back down. You want to make that a little bit harder? You can get your tinted beans, pop that onto your leg for a little bit of extra resistance. Okay, are we ready? Off we go. Count the reps with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Well done. Brilliant, 12 repetitions done. Should have felt that in the calf in the lower region of the leg there. Okay, moving back up to upper body. We're going to work the shoulder muscles now and what I call a diagonal front row. I've kind of made that up. So what we're going to do is start with your arm down by the side and you're going to go not straight in front, not out to the side, but pick a spot in the middle. So a diagonal, up and down, straight arms, just to shoulder height, so not going above, not down here, shoulder height as you feel comfortable to do so. Just a range of movement that's comfortable. You can do that with just your hands, no weight added, or grab it in the beans out to the side for 12 that position. Okay, now it's good posture, feet flat on the floor again for me, hands by your side, I'll count you in. Three, two, one. Off you go. One, count the reps with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, pass halfway, eight, nine, ten, should feel it in the shoulders now, eleven, one more. Wow, well done. Like I say, quite normal to feel a sensation or aching in the muscles that you're working throughout the exercise. Very normal. Back to a lower body exercise. You can bend that the way. You're going to work on the hip flexes, which is between your tummy muscles and your thigh muscles and also your hip. And what we're going to do is just step out to the side, back to the middle. Out to the side, back to the middle. So you'll do 12 repetitions on one leg and 12 on the other, okay? Nice upright posture, just bottom on the edge of the chair, hand on your lap or at the side, wherever it's more comfortable for you. I'll count you in. Three, two, one, off you go. One, 12 on one leg. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, should feel it here. Eight, in the hip. Nine, ten, eleven. One more on this leg. 
12 and swap over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, and twelve. Well done. So that's strengthening the hip joints here. Yeah. Okay, that lower body exercise. So we're going to move back to upper body and we're going to do a bicep curl now. So you can do this with no weight at all. Just have your palms and your fingers facing the ceiling. Bring your hands up so they touch your shoulders. Relax back down to the knee. Up to your shoulders, back to the knee. We found that really easy to do. Grab your tins of beans. Fingers still facing the ceiling, nice control movement up to the shoulders, back down to the knees. Both arms at the same time for this one, feet flat on the floor, nice upright posture. I'll count you in. Three, two, one, off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, seven, well done, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, wow, well done, fantastic. Okay, that was the last upper body exercise that we're going to do today. We have one more exercise for the legs and this is going to be for your hamstrings, which is the back of your legs, yeah. So you want to shuffle yourself forward on the chair and your feet are just going to go a step in front of where your knees are, so they're slightly out in front. Keeping that nice straight chest, nice straight posture, you're going to slide your foot backwards to touch the chair leg, or if you can, try and pinch your heel underneath to the base of the chair, slide back out in front of you. Okay, so just slide it in, back out, slide it in, back out, and you should feel a slight pinch on the back of your leg, on your hamstring. 12 on one leg, 12 on the other. Are you ready? I count you in. 3, 2, 1, off you go. 1, 12 on one leg. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, last one on this leg, 12 and swap over, 1, 2, 3, you should feel it in the hamstring, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nearly there, 9, 10, 11, last one, and 12, well done. So you should be feeling that in the hamstrings at the back there. So that's all of the exercises that we're gonna do for session one today. Targeted lots of different muscle groups around the body. But what we need to do now is make sure that we're cooled down nice and efficiently. So always warm up, always cool down. Okay, so if they're seated in the chair, all we're gonna do, think about that posture again, and start with that march on the spot. Getting your heart rate down, the breathing rate down, and just allowing that circulation, that blood flow over the body to just calm down again. Out of the tap, nice and steady. Out of the Well done. So, just full warning as we're doing the cool down. When you've done an exercise session like this, you can sometimes get an achy sensation for a day or two after it in the muscles that you've used. It's very, very normal. Okay, so don't worry too much if you're a little bit sore or a little bit tender to touch for a couple of days after that's very normal. Like I say, you would normally give yourself at least a minimum 
a one day rest between these sort of exercises. So you might do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. Okay, so we're just going to do some nice, very gentle steps out to the side, just for the cool down. repetition so you could do one set of 15 repetitions or if you wanted to take it even further you could do two sets of 15 staying on session one until you felt ready that you built that foundation to build up to session two which will be a step up in intensity some more standing exercises and just increase that progression a little bit more but thank you very much for joining me today and i hope to see you next time